problem solver can be poor. No problem solver can be what? Can be poor. The problems you solve determines your income, the salary. Solve difficult problems and you'll be qualified for the worst. None of the magicians could solve Pharaoh's problem. Just as solved, they said, now rule. Now do what? Rule. Solving problem has power. Has what? Has so much power. You can't solve problem and beg for promotion. Many people don't like solving problems. Yeah, they don't want to be promoted. They want to be rewarded. They want to have money. No, it doesn't work like that. It's right here. When you are solving problems, be detailed. Be what? And solve problems accurately without supervision. You just be at the top. Solve problems with a touch of excellence. You have money. It's right here. The problem you solve will differentiate you from others and bring you promotion. Let that be your testimony. He said, and Daniel had an excellent spirit. Daniel chapter 6, verse 3. Daniel was the greatest test man to ever live in the Old Testament. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Did you hear that? This man was just there. He was, no, nobody, nobody could compete with him. You hear me, people of God? If you want people to differentiate you from others, then solve problems others can't solve. Are you hearing me, sir? The quality of leaders that will look for you is determined by the kind of problems you solve. See yet a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. See yet a man Diligent is what? Proverbs 22, verse 29. He shall stand before kings. Great men will look for him. He shall not stand before mean men. Once you are there at the top, you don't beg for promotion. You don't beg to be known. They look for you. It's right here. They just look for you and they will look for you. I said they will look for you in your office. If they are not looking for you, then you are not solving problems. You leave an office. And nobody knows you left. Something's wrong. If you ever leave a place and nobody felt that you left, then you are not solving problems. You are not occupying space. You walk at an office and you say, I'm resigning, and not one person felt your resignation, resignation, then you are not solving any problem. There are people when they leave, you know somebody left. And there are people who leave, even the office will forget. We, we pray for promotion, but we don't solve if you want to be prosperous, then solve problems swiftly and quickly. Solve problems. Others are afraid and incapable of solving. No man at the top who does not solve problems. You pay a doctor, he solves medical problems. You pay a lawyer, he solves legal problems. You pay your teacher, he solves educational problems. You, any pastor at the top is solving spiritual problems. So more problems you solve, more money you make. No problem, no money. Dirty problems, dirty wealth. It's right here. Woo! Solve problem everyone is running away from. That's how to be at the top. Because the problem you solve, the time is the opportunity you get that will reveal your distinction from others. Anywhere you see money goes to, it's a place where they're solving. So, every time you see money, what is the reason? Problems. Duties we know for either you they know it for the problems you cause or the problems you solve. If you want more money, then solve big problems. First and foremost, when you want to you say, Am I going to solve problem for people? Or am I going to compound their problems? You are not in business if you are not solving problems. 